Successive Israeli airstrikes have pummeled the southern port city of Tyre in Lebanon following an evacuation warning from the Israeli military for parts of the city, Lebanon's state-run national news agency reported. Associated press footage showed thick plumes of smoke rising against the Mediterranean skyline. Local media also showed images of fires and widespread destruction to residential buildings. No casualties have been reported immediately. Following an Israeli evacuation warning, Lebanese civil defense teams patrolled the city with loudspeakers, urging residents to leave the area immediately. Israel's attack paralyzed the production of ballistic missiles in Iran. The American portal Axios wrote about it. Israel's retaliatory strike against Iran disabled a critical component of Iran's ballistic missile development program, said the article with reference to three sources from Israel. It also says that Israel hit 12 planetary mixers that were used to produce solid rocket fuel for long-range ballistic missiles. According to the interlocutors of the portal, the affected objects are extremely complex equipment, which Iran does not produce, but orders abroad. The representative of the United States confirmed that the strike significantly weakened the missile potential of Iran. Restoration of production capacity may take no less than a year, since Iran is forced to buy such equipment in China, since it does not produce it on its own. In addition, limiting Iran's ability to produce new ballistic missiles will affect its support for allies such as Hezbollah and the Houthis. Israeli sources also reported that the attack hit four batteries of S-300 air defense systems that protected Tehran and its nuclear and energy facilities. The Iranian army in its statement confirmed that the attack took place from the airspace of Iraq and damaged several radar systems, but did not mention the loss of facilities engaged in the production of missiles or drones, emphasizing its right to respond. Israeli sources confirmed that the strikes were carried out from the airspace of Syria and Iraq, some of them near the border between Iraq and Iran. U.S. President Joe Biden noted that Israel's strikes were aimed only at military targets, and expressed the hope that this would put an end to the exchange of attacks between Israel and Iran. He also called to do everything possible to protect American troops and help Israel in case of possible retaliatory actions by Iran or its allies. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister of Qatar called on all parties to refrain from further escalation. The day before it became known that Israel struck Iran. Before that, the Iranian authorities, preparing for the expected counterattack from Israel, ordered the armed forces of the country to be ready for war. The military was instructed to develop several plans to respond to the Israeli attack. Israel's military released on Saturday footage of troops locating and destroying an strategic Hezbollah underground facility in southern Lebanon. The IDF said that the facility was over 1.5 kilometers long and stored equipment that enabled hundreds of militants to stay inside for extended periods of time. Israel has said it will continue to strike Hezbollah until it is safe for Israeli citizens displaced from their homes near the Lebanon border to return. Hezbollah has vowed to keep firing rockets into Israel until there is a ceasefire in Gaza. 
The health ministry in Beirut says the total toll over the past year is over 2,600 killed and 12,200 wounded. עוד קילומטר, עוד קילומטר בתצורה הזאת. כשבירי יציאה, מצד אחד אפשר לראות. כשנלחמים, כמו שראים, נלחמי לינה גדולים עם מיטות ומזרונים. מזרונים עם מיטות, עם תחמושת ביחד, מזגנים, ציוד לחימה, תירס, מרים. עוד מלא 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 דברים, אפשר גם לראות פה המון אמל"ח, עובד צלפים, עשרות רבות של תחמושות, אם לא מאות, מטענים, מערכות יזימה. המטרה של המערכת התת-קרקעית הזאת, ובייחוד המתחמי שהייה האלה, היא בעצם אותם פעילים של חיזבאללה, של רדואן, להגיע מהכפרים הסמוכים, או מהכפר הזה, כאזרחים רגילים, על פניו, לבושים בבגדים אזרחיים, נכנסים למנהרה הזאת, למערכת התת-קרקעית הזאת, עולים פה על ציוד לחימה, על וסטים, נשקים קלים, נשקים כבדים, מקלעים, תחמושת, המנשאים שלהם, וברגע הפקודה יוצאים מהתקפה למדינת ישראל. זאת מערכת שהם בנו מעל 15 שנים, ועכשיו אנחנו פה, ואנחנו נשמיד את המנהרה הזאת. ארבע, שתיים, אחד, 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 אח